Howdy people, this is Enough Already 51 and I'm here today to talk about Sloan Stevens' humongous um, mouth and attitude. That girl needs to put a sock in it and she needs to put a sock in it quickly. Now, news is spreading. My, my tennis compadre, uh, Derek Johnson, tipped me off to this interview that she gave to ESPN Magazine over the weekend, but when I got in um, to my email today, there were several Google alerts awaiting me with, um, you know, titles of Sloan, Braddy Sloan, Sloan this, Sloan, um, you know, does, says this about Serena, um, blah, 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 because that's all it is, is a bunch of blah, blah, blah. So I printed out this one from golfnews.com. Sloan Stevens lashes out at Serena Williams. Okay, and if you want to read it, it's online. There you go. And let me tell you something. Uh, underneath it, the subtitle, Rising Star Labels Number One a Bad Loser Who Stopped Talking Over Australia Open Defeat. Don't get me started. Don't get me started. Um, let's just go over some of the, um, the boulash that she is quoted um, as saying in this article, um, she said, uh, quote, this is after the Australian Open, after she, she um, fortunately, um, to her good fortune and her good luck, she was going up against a very, very injured Serena Williams. And let's not forget a very, very injured Serena Williams. And did we, did we mention that Sloan um, got escorted out of the Madrid Open already, as did Caroline Wozniacki. All these people that just hate on Serena, my goodness. Nonetheless, here's what Sloan is quoted as saying about Serena. She's not said one word to me, not spoken to me, not said hi, not looked my way, not been in the same room with me since I played her in, Aust in Australia. Stevens told ESPN. And then she goes a little further with her ignorance and her nonsensical statements, sensical statements, they make no sense. Uh, she says, and that should tell everyone something, how she went from saying all these nice things about me to unfollowing me on Twitter. Girl, get a freaking life. She then says, you don't unfollow someone on Twitter, delete them off Blackberry Messenger? I mean, what for, why? Seriously, Sloan. Oh my goodness, I read this and I thought, what, what, her, her intellect, the, her, her IQ has to be severely low. Number one, for, first of all, let's, 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 let's get some sort of decorum here. Here you are in a very um, open, you know, this person, she's, She's an athlete. She's one that's, you know, in the eye and seen widely throughout the world. Who is her PR person? Could someone tell her to pull it back, pull the reins in and save that stuff for when no one else is around other than her, her very inner circle, like maybe her family or her friends. Look at that hair out of place. Really? You, you go. Oh, geez. I can't believe that she allowed herself to go on record and make these comments, these scathing comments, these inflammable comments about Serena. I mean, she is trying her best to shoot down her character, which when you really look at it, Sloan Stevens has got the Joneses for the Williams sisters. She needs to back off. If she wants to be a recognized tennis player, then play tennis and shut your mouth why are you talking about this girl my gosh she i don't know if she realizes how bad this article and when it's fully released is going to make her look because she's all that girl shot herself in the foot so many times i'm surprised she can even walk onto a court and she's a 12 gauge i'm telling you people um then she went on to talk about when she was 12 years old and watched Venus and Serena play for the first time at the Fed Cup. 
And she says, quote, I've waited all day for an autograph. They walked by three times and never signed our posters. Well, doggone those Williams sisters. Oh, my goodness, how dare they walk by her and not sign her autograph. I mean, her autograph, okay? Mind you now, mind you, she's the only one that wants their autograph. Seriously, all the throngs of people that stand around waiting to get their autograph. If one of us is lucky to get an autograph, how grateful we are. And if we don't get it, we totally understand. They're in the limelight. They are just, they're celebrities. And she, but the fact that she's still talking about when she was 12, I think she's 20 years old now. Girl, get over it. This article makes, not, not makes, I'm sorry, Sloan makes herself look real silly. I mean, she looks very, very silly. She then is quoted as saying, for the first 16 years of my life, she said one word to me and was never involved in my tennis whatsoever. I really don't think it's that big of a deal that she's not involved now. If you mentor someone, that means you speak to them. That means you help them. That means you know about their life. That means you care about them. Are any of those things true at this moment? No. Oh, little girl. Oh, little girl, how immature you are. You know what? Type it in. It's all over the internet. She is, that girl is, I mean, she thinks she's putting uh, Serena Williams on blast, but honestly, all she's doing is showing who she truly is. She's very immature. She's uh, seething with that green monster called jealousy. And here's the thing. If she, what kind of legacy did, does she want to leave? Does she want to be known as the girl that, um, you know, fixated on uh, Serena and, and Venus? And why did she drag Venus into one of these? Oh, my gosh. She, yes, yeah, she dragged Venus into it. Is she, does she want to be remembered as the girl that was trying to badmouth um, the Williams? Or does she want to be remembered? Or, or does she want to be remembered for the girl that, you know, one of the girls that once got... Um, a set off of Serena and then <laughs> vanished into never, 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 never ever saw her again there, land, because that's where she's heading. Or, you know, does she want to create a legacy for herself, a good one? If that's the case, she needs to focus more on her game, shut her mouth, and get a better PR person. Good grief, someone put a filter on that girl's mouth. How, I, I just, I don't understand. I mean, Really? And you know, the media is just eating And if this up. little ignorant girl keeps on just giving these interviews, I feel sorry for her. I mean, I could just, it's like she's doing a 21 gun salute on her own feet. I mean, she just keeps shooting one after the other. She needs to stop. Someone please, someone in her camp, tell her to stop. And I just know my girl won't dignify her with the response. And if she unfollowed Little Miss Sloan on Twitter, so what? Goodness, what is she going to do? Don't try to taint someone's character with, with really trivial things. That, that's so, it's so poor. It's, but it, it, it's no more than a reflection of who Sloan Stevens is. So, like I always say, Shut tune in next up. time because you never know what I'll be talking about. And uh, I'll see you. Alrighty, bye.